right, you two back at it. Going to wind down this video. Going to answer some questions. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have two channels. I have this one, which is my fitness channel. I've also got my very first channel, uh, which is more like a, a family vlog channel. And I do a lot of food challenges and crazy shit like that on it. So, I'm going to sip on my green tea. Like a savage. And let's get rolling. Question number one. What channel do I like better? By the way, I'm picking these from uh, some of the comments over the two channels. I've got over 150 videos, so... I just quickly scrolled through and picked out a couple of them. For some reason, YouTube's got something going on with the algorithm where people are leaving comments and either I can't see it or I can't reply to them. I have no idea why that is, but if that's going on, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm reading the comments and sometimes I can't reply to them, so hopefully this will answer some of the questions. What channel do I like to make videos for better? Um... I really enjoy the fitness videos, uh, just because it's a huge part of my day. Uh, but I really like the vlog channel as well. I've caught on video my son learning to swim, my daughter learning to skate, my son learning to ride a bike, uh, him scoring his first goal in hockey. So, I mean, yeah, it's got to be my vlog channel for the memories that you catch. But in terms of fun... It's definitely the fitness channel. I mean, fitness is fucking hilariously fun. So, favorite hobby, uh, lifting weights. Dream car. Ooh, I would either take a 911 GT3 RS or Ferrari 458 Italia. Exact same one Mo Vlogs just sold. Uh, shout out to Mo Vlogs. I know he's watching my videos. Uh, or the new Bugatti that just came out. I think it's called the Chiron. It is phew, amazing looking. Uh, what do I do for work? I'm actually an insurance agent. I work off a broker system, so I help people save money with insurance costs. Favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite thing about YouTube is that you can find anything you're looking for is on YouTube. Um, I own rental properties, so I needed to know how to, this is just an example, but I needed to know how to fix a, a drain, YouTube it, right? I had no idea you could paint siding, YouTube it. How can you put, how can you make your biceps peak a little more? YouTube it. Everything is on YouTube these days. Uh, when I first started working out, or 10 years ago, when I got out of school, the internet wasn't what it is right now. So you've got the world's knowledge at your fingertips on a computer, on a cell phone. When you're pooping, you can go on. You can learn something brand new every day, uh, all the time. So that's my favorite thing about YouTube. And it gives the average person a voice. You can create your own content just like we do. Hit the same upload button Casey Neistat hits. Uh, and it's up on the internet. So whether you're selling products, sharing information... Um, you're just venting on a video screen. You can put it all on YouTube and you can get, you can meet people, business contacts, everything like that, which is what I love about the fitness community as well. Uh, most I've ever lifted, the very most I've ever benched was 365, deadlift was 465, and squat was 465. So I'm very far away from that right now. My bench, not too far, but my squat and my deadlift have gone back quite a bit over the year. Future goals. Uh, personal future goal. Right now I'm looking at buying some more rental property. Um, that's the near future goal. Uh, I've got a business idea that I'm doing up a business plan for as well. So that's a future goal. Uh, as far as like channel goals and stuff like that, just continue to grow, continue to network, uh, meet a bunch of people, uh, comment, respond. I mean... I had no idea that YouTube was so big outside of North America. Like, how many people are from Scotland and Australia in the fitness community? It's amazing. So, you get to learn, like, their customs. They've got different ways of lifting, nutrition, stuff like that. So, uh, just to keep expanding in the fitness community, having fun with it. And as soon as I'm done having fun with it, I'll be done with it. So, 
favorite video I've ever done is hmm favorite video I've ever done is probably my double wrapped monster burrito uh, the food challenge I did it was definitely the hardest video I've ever done so I barely made it through that sucker was it was huge it was literally like that round and tall that it would stand on its own so I'll put a link in the description to it and you can go over to my other channel uh, show me some support subscribe if you want check out that video if you want how do I deal with hate comments hmm that's a good question I've got over 125 no, over 150 videos on YouTube and I've never really gotten a hate comment before constructive criticism you're supposed to get constructive criticism you make a video you put it out there you want people to tell you the good parts if there's something that's missing in your video maybe something you can improve upon then uh, you want them to tell you like uh, I've had tons of comments about my audio sucking in the past. Got that fixed. Thank you. Um, you're supposed to, when you put a video up there, you're putting it up there, feeding, basically putting hamburger into a pen with a tiger. People are going to go look at it. If they like the way it tastes, that's great. They're going to let you know. If they don't, they're going to tear you a new asshole. So they're supposed to do that. That's just the way it goes hate comments no sweat off my back if I got a bunch I wouldn't really care too much at all to be honest with you number one piece of advice number one piece of advice is to get really really good at not caring what people think about you uh, and that goes for not just YouTube I mean friendships relationships business everything life get really really good at not caring what people think about you that's going to get you a lot farther than just about anything else uh, some of the smartest people most educated people that i know that you would think would go really far in life they have this real self-conscious issue about always trying to be a people pleaser always doing things um, maybe that they wouldn't necessarily do so that other people will think they're kind of like don't care what people think about you. It's none of your damn business. That's it. Number one piece of advice. Pre-workout. Uh, I don't take a whole lot of pre-workout. I'm not against it by any means. You see me drinking monsters in my video. Uh, I just feel like there's three different types of pre-workout. There's caffeine pills, which are super cheap. Uh, 200 milligrams, 50 pills. You get for like 10 or 11 bucks at Walmart. Uh, or you can buy pre-workout, which is 40 or 50 bucks a jar. It's got the less caffeine in it, but it's got more stems and artificial colors and artificial flavors. It's basically a chemical concoction. And it's going to run you about a buck to a buck fifty a scoop. You're going to get 30 servings for 40 or 50 bucks. So it's much more expensive than caffeine pills. But even worse than that is energy drinks, Monsters, Rockstars, Red Bulls. They're like two fifty, three dollars a pop. So if you wanted to buy 30 or 40 servings of them, excuse me, you're looking at like 60, 70, 80 bucks. So if you're frugal with your money, uh, if you don't like blowing money on stupid shit, caffeine pills are definitely the way to go. Uh, Pre-workouts taste the best. They're going to give you more of a feeling, more of a tingle, uh, more of a pump when you're working out. And if that's what you're going for, then my favorite that I've ever taken, uh, love C4, I uh, love the mayhem, and I love, there was one that came out, maybe seven or eight no shotgun is what it was called the watermelon flavor and it actually had 20 grams of protein in it so you got your pre-workout plus you got your 20 grams of protein and it was mint hashtag mint gray wolf fitness um let's see another one and last one so we'll try and make it a good one what's your least favorite thing about making youtube videos Hmm. I don't know if this is my least favorite, but the most surprising thing to me is how much time and effort it takes to make a video. Like if you're going to go film a workout, uh, moving the camera around, getting different angles, uh, filming it kind of disrupts your workout just a tiny little bit. And uh, so there's that. And then you got to take it from your camera. You got to switch it over to your computer. That takes time. 
you got to upload it into your editing software that takes time then you're looking at probably two to three hours worth of um, editing depending what you're doing if you're doing a cool little edit on it it takes a lot of time too so and then of course you're saving it you're watching it again to make sure it's saved right then you're uploading it to YouTube you're tagging it writing out your description uh, to make a 10 minute video it can take four or five hours so I don't know if that's my least favorite because I enjoy the process of doing it but it definitely surprised me the most so that's it for this video I hope that answered some of your questions if you have any more feel free drop them down in the comment section below that's what it's for uh, if you want to send me a hate comment fuck by all means go ahead constructive criticism I love it send it my way as well if you want to support me and my channel, this is East Coast Fitness. You can hit the subscribe button down below. My Us Vlog Family Vlog channel, uh, where I shoot guns for the first time. I do stupid challenge, food challenges, stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a lot bigger than this cha uh, channel as well. So you can hit that subscribe button. Link will be in the description. Uh, other than that, keep killing it in the gym, pumping out the content. I love watching all the other channels out there. I love how tight the fitness community is, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.